Welcome to the Texploration STEM Lab. Our topics for today are waves, sound, and light. And here are some highlights from our show. What all waves really are is just energy moving through something. We call that something the medium. Now the medium is made up of particles. Now these can be particles of water, particles of air, or even particles of earth. Waves moving through the earth are called earthquakes. Now this kind of wave is called a transverse wave because the medium moves up and down and the motion of the wave moves side to side. When you drop a rock into the water, it causes a transverse wave. Now the highest part of the wave is called the crest of the wave and the lowest part of the wave is called the trough. Now here's a higher amplitude wave. The crests get much higher and the troughs gets much lower. Frequency. Now, white light is made up of all the colors. Let's start with absorption. Remember, absorbed means that energy is being soaked up by an object. So let's say we have something like a black balloon. This white light with all its colors is being absorbed by this black balloon. The balloon looks black because none of the colors are bouncing back to your eyes. Now, if we replace the black balloon with a white balloon, Instead of all the colors being absorbed by the balloon, they will be reflected back to your eyes. Remember, reflection means that light energy is bouncing back from the surface without being absorbed. When the colors bounce back to my eye, the balloon looks white. Because white light is made up of all the different colored wavelengths combined. But, what if I replace the white balloon with a red balloon. The same thing happens. Now, all the colors of the white light will be absorbed except for the color red. The red color will be reflected back to my eye and I see a red balloon. Because light travels at different speeds through different materials, when the light hits the water, the light slows down which causes it to bend. However, in the eye, the light goes through the lens that refracts the light and it focuses on the retina. If I add a lens to my eye model, now the image will be focused on the cloth retina. So sound waves hit the eardrum and it vibrates the bones that send waves through the fluid in the cochlea, which cause the hair cells to wave, which sends a signal through the cochlear nerve to the brain. Ready? Go! Ah! <laughs> Long string and I pluck it, it's going to vibrate very slowly and it will be lower pitched sound. But if I shorten the string, the vibrations become much faster and the pitch is higher. And I'm even going to use a bow which will really get the string vibrating and you can see it a little more clearly. 